हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई एम रोहिणी हरिदास वर्किंग एज एन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट एट मौलाना मुख्तार अहमद नदवी टेक्निकल कैंपस मालेगांव इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ रिएक्टेंस रिले एंड द इफेक्ट ऑफ आर्क रेजिस्टेंस ऑन इट्स रीच दीज आर दी कंटेंट्स introduction trip law characteristics on rx plane directional property and effect of arc resistance on the reach of the relay let us start with the introduction reactance relay is the type of distance relay in which the current element provides the operating torque and directional element provides the restraining torque and it is also called as overcurrent relay with the directional restraint it operates when the reactance seen by the relay is less than the preset value called as reach so what is reach it is the maximum length of the line up to which the relay can protect now let us revise the universal torque equation before deriving the trip law for the reactance relay this equation explains the working of an electrical relay we know that the relay has some arrangements of the electromagnets which consist of current and a voltage winding that will produce the operating torque and a restraining torque the operating characteristics of all types of relay can be obtained by using the universal equation just by assigning the proper signs to each term so let us see here k1 i square is the torque developed by the current coil k2 v square is the torque developed by the voltage coil k3 vi cos theta minus tau is the torque due to the directional element and k4 is the torque due to spring here theta is the angle between v and i tau is the maximum torque angle here k1 k2 and k3 are the constants please note that the torque which tends to lose the trip contact is called as operating torque and the torque which tends to oppose the closing of the trip contact is called as restraining torque so the quantity which provides the operating torque assign positive sign and the t which provides the restraining torque assign the negative sign while deriving the trip law now let us derive the trip law for the reactance relay here the current element will provide the operating torque and directional element provides the restraining torque so let us rewrite the universal torque equation here the current element provides the operating torque so you assign plus sign to term k1 i square there is no role of voltage element so this term will be equal to 0 that is k2 v square will be equal to 0 now the directional element provides the restraining torque so you assign negative sign to the term k3 vi cos theta minus tau also assign negative sign to the term k4 because it provides the restraining torque here what is k it is the restraining torque provided by the spring thus we will get t is equal to k1 i square minus k3 vi cos theta minus tau minus k4 now you can neglect the torque due to the spring when the relay is on the verge of operation thus we will get t is equal to k1 i square minus k3 vi cos theta minus tau for the operation of the relay the following condition should be satisfied that is operating torque should be greater than the restraining torque or you can say 
restraining torque should be less than the operating torque please remember the restraining torque is provided by the directional element that is by the term k3 vi cos theta minus tau and operating torque it is provided by the current element that is by the term k1 i square so we will get vi upon i square cos theta minus tau should be less than k1 by k3 by simplifying we will get v by i cos theta minus tau should be less than k1 by k3 here what is v by i it is the z scene that is impedance seen by the relay and k1 by k3 is the constant and which is equal to xz which is nothing but the preset value of the reactance or you can say it is the reach of the reactance relay so we will get z scene cos theta minus tau should be less than xz if we set the mta that is the maximum torque angle of the directional element to be 90 degree then z scene cos theta minus 90 degree should be less than xz here we replace the tau by 90 degree thus what is z scene cos theta minus 90 it is nothing but z scene sin theta and it should be less than xz so what is z scene sin theta it is the x scene which is nothing but the reactive part of the impedance seen by the relay so here we get rip law if x scene that is reactance seen by the relay is less than the x set then the relay will trip otherwise the relay will restrain please note x scene is the reactive part of the impedance seen by the relay now let us see the characteristics of reactance relay on rx plane please recall the r axis that is resistance axis represents the real part of the impedance whereas the reactance axis represents the imaginary part of the impedance the operating characteristics of the reactance relay on rx plane is the straight line parallel to the resistance axis with the intercept of x set on the reactance axis here what is x set that is the preset value of reactance so we know that if the x scene is less than the x set then the relay will trip otherwise it will restrain thus the portion below the straight line will be the trip region because here x scene will be the less than x set now if x scene is greater than x set then the relay will restrain so portion above the red line it is nothing but the restraining region please note the relay is sensitive only to the reactive part of the impedance scene and trips if the reactive part is less than the particular set value of the reactance the entire area below the red line that is x set represents the trip region now let us discuss the directional property of the reactance relay please note that the first quadrant on the rx plane represents the forward fault whereas the third quadrant on the rx plane represents the reverse fault since the trip characteristics of the reactance relay occupies the area in both that is in the first quadrant as well as on the third quadrant therefore it does not exhibit any directional property thus the reactance relay will trip for the fault lies either in the forward direction or in the reverse direction but it is always desired that the relay should operate for the fault lying only in the forward direction and it should never operate for the fault lying in the reverse direction therefore the reactance ray will not be useful in the situation where the selectivity between the forward and the reverse fault has to be maintained please refer the diagram and remember the trip characteristics of the reactance relay 
occupies the area in both that is first and the third quadrants so it does not exhibit any directional property that is reactance relay is a non directional relay now let us discuss the effect of arc resistance on the reach of reactance relay to have the better understanding of this point please refer my previous video on effect of arc resistance on the reach of a simple impedance relay now all of you know the meaning of reach it is the maximum length of the line up to which the relay can protect so let us see the characteristics of the reactance relay on rx plane here the line fold characteristics is also superimposed here a line section ab being protected using the reactance relay and there is a fault at the end of protected section that is at point b with the resistance equal to bc please see again here the section ab it is protected by using what reactance relay now let us assume that at point b that is at the end of the protected section there is a arcing fault whose resistance equal to what bc so what will be the impedance seen by the relay it is the addition of ab plus bc now it can be seen that the tip of the impedance seen phasor that is phasor ac lies on the straight line which represents the constant reactance thus the reach of the relay remains unaffected in spite of the presence of the arc resistance and this is only to be expected because the relay responds only to the reactive part of the impedance scene and trips only if the reactive part is less than the preset value so please remember this is the reactance scene which is constant here all the impedance vectors have their tips lying on the straight line here the red line represents the constant reactance thus the reach of the reactance relay remains unaffected in spite of the presence of arc resistance these are the some references if you liked this video then please share and subscribe thank you